Good evening everyone, and welcome back to this walkthrough of Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, this is Blackjack Kent, and we have just gotten... let's see, where are we right now? We have just um, had our father and brothers uh, kill, basically killed by uh, Uberto Alberti, the Gonfalonieri, because he refused to present the evidence that we delivered to him that would have saved our family for being accused of treason. Um, we've gotten this really cool wardrobe from our father's chest, hidden chest of drawers, and we have a hidden blade now that we can use because um, Leonardo da Vinci helped us get it set up. So we are now ready to start becoming an assassin. So we're going to head for our first um, plot here. We're going to go back up over here and we're going to do our first plot, which I th or, well, our next plot, which is I believe part where we may learn how to make ourselves unnotorious. You can see in the uh, top top left there that little symbol that's all red. That means that we are notorious at the moment. Notoriety affects how um, guards respond to us. If you're on the roof, they'll always get um, twitchy at you if they if they see you. But if you're on this on the streets, um, usually they won't care unless you're notorious. In which case, they will be really annoyingly like jumpy and really start freaking out whenever they see you, and it makes it a lot harder to get missions and stuff done. So I believe, shortly, we're going to learn from Paula the Courtesan how to get rid of that as a, uh, as a problem. Um, as I said, we have the chests here that are around randomly. You can buy treasure maps. Um, I remember when I first played this game, I spent a ton of time being like, running around trying to get all the treasure chests and it turns out that you don't get anything for them. Like, I thought you got an achievement or something like that, but you really don't. It's just, um, something to do, kind of. Um, let's see. There are guards. There are guards right there. We'll try to avoid that. And we can use that cool blending skill that we learned go this way. Um, yeah, so the chests really don't accomplish much of anything for you. They give you a little bit of money, but we haven't really reached the point where we're even in need much of money, so... Um, not really that big a deal. Um, let's see, going generally this way. some more guards. Guards are always ma uh, marked in the red dots on the map. Whoop, hello. No! Oh my god, leave me alone. Oh, fuck's sake. Run! Let's get out of here! Eccolo! Shit. Out of my face. Out of my face. Climb. Yeah, these fast guards are really annoying, because they'll actually- Ow! First of all, they'll shoot you, and second, they'll fall you on the rooftops. Get out of it. Come on. This is what I was talking about, about how you really can't run around on the streets while you're notorious at all. <laughs> and I think the fact- I think basically the entire reason that the game- Oh my god. Um, the entire reason that the game does this section is so that- you're forced to run around on the streets a little bit while notorious, so you'll be really excited when they teach you how to turn that, how to make that go away. Come on, Ezio. Break line of sight. Oh, shut up. Eccolo. Come on. I need hiding spots. Let's see if we can find... Ha! Yay, hey, Bill. I'm really a very nice person, I'm just misunderstood. Anyway, that's right, I can't jump climb yet either. Um, 
can't really get out of here this way. Um, where's the door to this area? We're going this way. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Yes, I'm gone. I'm not here. Like the look of that one. You can't see me. I'm not here. It's cool. Scoot right on by. You are a dead man. Oh, bite me. Don't. What? God damn it. Oh my god. I detest this part. Leave me alone. No, we can't do that, because they can still see me. Out of my face! At least we're going the right direction now. Ah, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Run, 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 run. Aha! Okay. Courtesans. Okay, the Eve icon on database pop-ups indicates that a glyph is on the landmark. Right, so this is these those um weird I guess we can we can do one of these. Um this is one of those weird symbols that Sean was talking about last week or last time, where um he said that there he'd found some weird symbols in the memory and he didn't know what they meant. Um so the way that you do this and there it is. And the way that we do the symbols. What does it mean? It must be there for a reason. Can you take a closer look? Close look. Hey, try using eagle vision. Not got all day. Woohoo! Wait, wait, that's that's not possible. This can't be. Hold on, that's computer code. Let me compile it. Oh shit! It's an encrypted file. Upload it to my computer. I'm a master at decryption. Yeah, I can't. It's only compatible with the Animus itself. I'd upload it to Desmond then. I believe this. So this is weird stuff. With Subject 16. Sixteen. They, they, they call me Subject 16. Listen, I don't have much time. There's something I have to show you. We have been lied to this whole time. Everything we know, everything we've been brought up to believe, <laughs> it's wrong. Okay, um, I've uploaded the evidence, the file that, 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 that proves it all, but I've split it into 20 pieces and locked each with a code. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Qu Queen Isabella. No, not her. Uh, uh, ugh, what century is it? Ugh, never mind. I've hidden the code to the first file inside this program. <sighs> Find it. Find them all. And along the way, you'll begin to see the truth. Creepy. What the heck? How did this get inside our animus? Oh. Oh, the memory core. We transferred 16's memory data from Abstergo into the Animus 2.0. He must have hacked the machine when Vidic left him alone between sessions. Oh, hold on, wait a second. The signs on the walls in Abstergo, the ones written in blood, those were clues. He was telling us to look for them inside the Animus. So yeah, there's a bunch of these files that eventually lead to a final, like, big file that we look at at the end. Um, we'll see if I can remember these. Some of these I admit I used a walkthrough on the first time I played this, so I probably... <laughs> we'll see if I manage to do all these, but... Um, so yeah, first of all, so it's just a bunch of puzzles, basically. First of all, five of these mythic scenes share a core similarity. Pick them out, and you'll begin to see. And this one's not very hard. You can guess. It's just looking for things that relate to apples. I have a terribly bad resolution TV, but I think... Alright, the fall definitely is Adam and Eve. Earth and Venus. Uh, Garden of the Hesperides is apples, the apples of the Hesperides in Greek myth. Uh, Atalanta was a fast racer woman in Greek mythology who 
Uh, guy finally beat her by distracting her by throwing apples at the side of the path, so there we are. Uh, Judgment of Paris, I think the guy's holding an apple there. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Bacchus. Eden and the apples, so there we are. <gasps> apple! The apple of Eden! Passcode found. So yeah, that one's really easy. They get harder from here. But that one was easy. And we get the first chunk of that video that file. And there it is. That's all we get of it right now. Naked people running. That's as much as we get. Um, this will all get filled up by the end of the game, assuming that we do all of them, which I intend to do. As I said, the, I've been giving it some thought. I'm probably going to do all of these and all of the Assassin's Tombs, but I'm not going to worry too much about the side quests and secondary memories unless they happen to be right in my path. Um, so we'll see. Maybe maybe I'll end up doing them, maybe I won't. I'm not making any promises. <laughs> Especially after some of the stuff that happened in Bioshock, so. Alright, so that's the beginning of the first uh, Subject 16 glyph. And uh, now we're gonna drop down here and down here to the to the Rosenfiore? Or is that in Brotherhood, I can't remember. It's the Rosen something. Well, aren't you a funny monkey? Yeah, bite me. Paola! I'm home. You were gone for quite a while. Leonardo likes to talk. That he does. But I trust he did more than talk. Impressive. I'm rather fond of it myself. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of the Rocco's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Oh, that's right. So we kill Uberto first. And then we do the whole uh, notoriety thing. Let's go kick some... Alberto Alberti, but nope, not what I meant to do. All right, we gotta do this. We gotta avoid getting hit by the guards. Let's try and get on the roofs again. Especially while we're notorious, it's a lot easier to kill one guard on the roofs than it is to get seen by a group on the ground. Um, let's see. Alright, we're gonna cross over there. Get it down, down. Yeah, there's the archers. Come here. Let you, let's let it... <laughs> yeah, much easier. Um... icon. I'm not sure where the Santa Croce glyph is. We can see it from here. It's somewhere on Santa Croce, I think, but uh, we'll get it later. Again with this? You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends, which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes, your allies the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Alright, so. We need to follow Berto. And this whole area is swarming with guards. So we need to... blend and not be detected. And we need to get... Where do they cut books like that? Into the Santa Croce cloister. Oh, 